This is, for what it's worth, the world's first Mary Worth podcast. Sam and Eric use coarse language, and if you are offended by coarse language, please save yourself some trouble and cover your ears. You're a butterfly, and butterflies are free to fly. Fly away, hi away, bye bye. Someone saved, someone saved, someone saved, for what it's worth, the world's first and only Merryworth podcast. My name is Sam. And I'm Eric. Ah, prepare for trouble. And make it tumble, because we're on episode 22. 22, that's two twos. It's the episode so nice. We named it twice. <laughs> double the pleasure, double the fun. With double the merry work. That's the statement of the great mint and for what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> um, so last week we had a good time, man. Oh, uh, man, we had a blast. That was a crazy party we went to. Uh, to fill you guys in on things, Eric and I are currently dead and we're haunting a house out in the middle of the woods. And Yeah, now we're ghosts. We are we're ghosts. Uh, Vengeful, horrible ghosts. Now, see, we could either be like the Patrick Swayze ghost, where we're going around, like, trying to re- save our lost love. Hugging ladies while they're doing pottery. But nope. No, we decided to be like the poltergeist ghosts. Yeah, we... Uh, that, that's just more fun. Uh, you know? See, I, I prefer the evil ghost stories to the Patrick Swayze... Like, we're not ghost dad, for God's sake. Oh, do I look like Bill Cosby to you? Nope. Do I look like Bill Cosby? This is my Bill Cosby impression. Wow. <laughs> was that good? Yeah, that was uh, spot on. Uh, so anyway, these teenagers came into the house, and Eric and I... <laughs> <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they were making such a ruckus. So we decided to give them a little bit of... Uh... A, a little bit of a scare, a little bit of a fright. Um, so uh, so what, we... what, what, how, how did you start this off, Sam? Go ahead and tell them. Well, first off, we kicked open the doors and we ran at him, screaming and rattling chains and, and howling. Saying, saying we're dead, just to, just to reassure them that we yeah, were yeah. dead ghosts. If, in case they thought we were just home invaders, no, we needed to let them know that we were dead ghosts. So. And uh, that made them scatter to all, all four, four points of the house. We slammed the door, locked them all in, and uh, if they could have survived until dawn, we would have let them go. Yes, but... but uh... We ended they, up murdering all of them. They weren't very bright. There was a, uh, there were those two that like you know they'd had a kind of a rocky relationship, but uh, but this turmoil they were put in pulled them together, and they were making out in one of the closets. <laughs> and oh. then I, <laughs> dude, I will not forget the look on their face when I came in with that fire poker and shoved it through the back of the guy's head and into the girl's <laughs> mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Oh, their heads were pinned together, and they were going... <laughs> it was great. I couldn't make up what they were saying, but... <laughs> oh, it was funny. It was probably something like, Oh, help, help, this hurts, we're dying! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> something funny like that. <laughs> but that was about the time you chased the uh, the skinny, nerdy kid down the hall, yeah. and he found him like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> He started having that fucking asthma attack. I thought I was going to die. And then Again. I, and then I chased off the balcony, and he fell off and got impaled on on that uh, candelabra. Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. And then the, uh, the, the tough black guy that came with him, uh, who was talking shit the whole time, came in, and he's like, Where is everybody? And then we cut the chandelier down, and it fell down, and the crystals on the and chandelier him. sliced him up to ribbons. <laughs> cut him into, <laughs> like, slices of bacon. Oh, and then, man. And then one of them had fallen asleep, so I went into their uh, uh, nightmares, and, and, I, uh, and I found their worst fear, and I killed <laughs> them by being attacked by uh, deadly bees. And then when they died in the dream, they also died in real life. That's a classic <laughs> Kruger right you know, there, man. Just, 
Just, just the classic news. Uh, but we've got a little bit of a problem now. Is we're in this house with a bunch of rotting bodies, and I think it's about time we yeah. move on. We should probably get going uh, next week, you know, for recording. Yeah, but... So we should probably... We can't do it now, but next week. Oh, yeah, definitely. Next week, we'll pack up the studio after we're done recording here and move on. And, yeah, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, if I were still alive today, um, yeah. I, I, tomorrow would be my birthday. Are you serious? So, this was the best birthday present a guy could ask for. Eric, happy birthday, buddy, from me to you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, see, folks, even after you die, you can celebrate birthdays in the afterlife forever with your dead friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of a whole bunch of dead people, what happened on Mary yeah. Worth? Oh, everyone got rescued, and then Mary... Uh, uh Toby. Ju Ju Judy or whatever her, her name Judy is. Judy and her husband <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Cameron. And they were watching the news. And then the uh, uh, man with the baby voice came on. And was, I don't want a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and was telling everyone what was going on. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But uh Wilbur and Dawn were en route back to Charterstone. They were coming. Coming home. And uh, that's where we catch up with the Westons on Monday's strip. When Wilbur and Dawn return to Charterstone. Mary, at one point I wasn't sure we were going to make it. But we did, Dawn. Unfortunately. Now let me just palm these potatoes. Mm. <laughs> Mary, I... I... I thought I told you I don't like boiled potatoes. I like to mash so I don't have to chew them. I gotta mash them with my own bare hands. Mm. <laughs> Wilbur looks like a three-year-old after he's been eating. Yeah. Just all over his shirt and his hands <laughs> and his face. I died. He throws his <laughs> hands up in the air. Spills his milk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to my help of the other passengers, crew, and... Rescue team. Even so, remember the people at the lifeboats? Uh, Mary, you're looking a little bit like, like a professional boxer. <laughs> there. She's looking a little punch drunk, isn't yes. she? <laughs> Her nose is like twisted off to the side. Bulgy. Mary's just sitting there. She's going, when are these two idiots going to stop talking so I can tell them about Ask Wendy? <laughs> Listen, you survived. Get over it. <laughs> also, I like uh, uh, Mary's uh, man in the yellow hat jacket she's got going, going on there. <laughs> well, doesn't Wilbur have about the same mentality as a chimp? Yeah, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> now, Wilbur, eat your potatoes like a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't all the Curious George books about George nearly getting killed yep. by horrible things? Yeah, I can see, <laughs> see the uh, <laughs> the illusions here. Yeah, I can definitely see draw a comparison between a dumb chimp who almost gets himself killed and a dumb fat man who almost spills ass <laughs> into the ocean and dies. <laughs> uh, we, we got a comic on Tuesday we could read. <laughs> oh, we do. We do indeed. Why don't we read that one, then? It was an ugly scene, Mary. Every man, woman, and child for him or herself. People went nuts once they opened the lifeboat gates. Uh, What's wh going on with Mary's face? Yeah, uh, she's got a little, uh, Aunt May kind of thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, dear, I don't know where you're going at night, but this is no <laughs> way to deal with the death of your Uncle Ben. How many people know this? But uh, Mary Worth was originally part of the cast of the Golden Girls. <laughs> yes, she, is she being played by Estelle Getty in these yes. strips? <laughs> yes, I think so. That was humanity, and it's worst. It was! And then Dawn looks at the camera and winks. 
Brutal. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Let's give that girl a hand. <laughs> Good one, Don. <laughs> and then fade to black. <laughs> Commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And of course, the classic uh, Joe Gelia uh, paintings that are just black smears. Yep. <laughs> I believe that the late Mister Worth was a psychologist, and he proudly displayed his yes. Rorschach tests everywhere. And that's why uh, Mary's this this way, always t- judging people, <laughs> figuring out what they're thinking. Yeah, Mary was a teacher. But she just kind of uh, wrote on the on her husband's coattails. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, is that a day of the week? I, I think so. Is that and one of the there, new ones? And I think there's a comic on that day as well. Oh well, why don't why don't I read it? Let's do it. If not for the passengers who helped save my dad, the, the ellipsis. <laughs> On a team for rescuers by helicopter. <laughs> we wouldn't be sitting here telling our story. That was humanity at its best. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> <laughs> this porridge was just right. Do you think Wilbur and Don rehearsed this, like, switching back and forth between lines on the on the helicopter yeah. out of Italy? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, Dad, how are we going to do this? Okay, you go with the, t- uh, 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 telling the story part, and then I'll go like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they start doing the who's on first routine. <laughs> they had a lot of time to work on their act. <laughs> so... <laughs> So they started out with uh, their tale of harrowing terror and survival, and then they go straight into Old Smothers Brothers routines. Yes. <laughs> That's why Mary's got her hand on her face. She's like, oh God, they're spending so much time together that they're finishing each other's sentences. Oh. Don, you need to get out of the house. You need to find some guy to replace Dave, because right now yes. <laughs> you're closer with your father than any daughter should be. Oh, dear. I need to get this girl a new boyfriend. <laughs> Luckily, Mary has a notebook full of young single men <laughs> in <Yes>. her apartment <laughs> so that she can, <laughs> as soon as possible, get every single woman she knows married. Because yes. that is the only thing that women are good for, is getting married and then having babies. <laughs> in Mary Worth, anyway. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, I wasn't. I was. I wasn't trying to be uh, misogynist there. Wednesday, Thursday. Wait, we just did Wednesday. You ding dong. Let's do Thursday. Thursday. We could do Wednesday again if you want. Oh, that's okay. All right, we'll move on. I felt hopeful after seeing people pull together and help each other. It restored my faith <laughs> in people again. <laughs> <laughs> And after we were rescued from the ship, nearby towns, people offered their home and shelter to us. I took, I took over the house of a nice couple and I kicked them out on the street. They forgot their keys so they couldn't get back in. And Dawn and I stood in the window and laughed at them. <laughs> I guess they don't have police in Italy. Yeah. They helped us. Total strangers. Now let me caress my lock here. I'm Ooh. I'm waiting for that locket to come back in play. She's still wearing it. You didn't throw it off the boat, you dummy. God We're gonna damn have it. to go back to Italy. <laughs> um. Also, has Dawn just not changed clothes since they got back? She was ah. wearing that purple dress on the ship. That's what she she likes the way the. Uh, the uh, ocean water smells on her. <laughs> she likes that good brackish smell. <laughs> um, uh, Friday? 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 Friday. Let's do it. Tell me again how you survived as the ship was <laughs> sinking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Some jumped and swam to shore, but I couldn't leave my father behind. <laughs> look, look at the size of Don's head. <laughs> is, is Don transforming into a giant again? Yeah, I think so. I, <laughs> maybe it's like or, the salt, salt water. <laughs> maybe they're all bloated. She's just swelling. Or or is it that we've just never noticed how small Wilbur is? Aw, look at him. Oh, guy, it's like a little Frantolicus dummy. <laughs> I'm picturing Wilbur now, like the size of a basketball, and Don just carries him around. <laughs> Other passengers, help save me when the boat was tilting. Luckily, we were picked up by a helicopter rescue crew. We just said that a couple days ago. But Don. let's reiterate it in case Mary wasn't paying attention. Don, what are you looking at? You're <laughs> just staring off into the distance like, uh, all right. It's, it's one of those moments where she's like, you wouldn't ever understand what these eyes have seen. And it pans in and there's fire and screaming and flesh melting off of bones. And that <laughs> video of a monkey washing a cat in a sink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that really just disturbed Dawn. She did not like that one bit. Um, <laughs> what's what's going on with Mary here? <laughs> Mary a little bit out of it. You too. <laughs> You're the most adorable. I know. She's going to reach over and pinch them both on the cheek. Mm -hmm. I love you, yeah. Oh, wait, I, I was doing Dawn. I love you, too. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Give them each a little kiss. <laughs> All right, Saturday? Saturday. 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 Oh. <laughs> As they say in Italy. <laughs> is, is that Italian for Saturday? Is Saturday oh Saturday no? Um, it all sounds very harrowing. I'm glad you lived to tell the tale. We're so grateful. I don't so help Josh. If the camera in that panel were pointing the other way, you would be able to see uh, me and Eric peeping our little heads up over yeah. the windowsill. I'm <laughs> just looking at it. What are they doing in there? It's, it's raining outside and we're so cold and hungry. <laughs> also, Wilbur's head looks quite a bit like a bowling ball <laughs> from this vantage, <laughs> vantage point. <laughs> He's like the uh, the little guy on the Bic Pens package. Yes. <laughs> He's got a big round head. And to think I felt my world was ending before this trip. I feel silly I was hung up over Dave. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, you nut. All you it took was a bunch of people dying to get her how silly you were. <laughs> <laughs> All it took was tons of bloodshed and hideous death. <laughs> if only we could all be as mature as Dawn. Or as happy about it as Mary is, apparently. She's <laughs> <laughs> just, like, glowing. <laughs> That's the so thing. Cute. Other people's suffering fuels Mary's power. <laughs> She's just staring into the, the steam off her coffee. <laughs> the, uh, the steam rising off her coffee forms into the shape of a skull, and Mary just <laughs> Chuck smiles. Chuckles. <laughs> 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 yes. Wonderful. Everything's coming to fruition. Mary <laughs> Worth has work to do in Italy now. There are a lot of grieving families. <laughs> she does what she does whenever she hears it. Like a horrible tragedy. She travels <laughs> to that location and goes around to talk to people. <laughs> because she loves hearing people grieve. She, uh... While, while the person is crying, she reaches over to, like, wipe their tears. Yes. <laughs> but secreted in the palm of her hand is a little vial that she collects a couple tears in <laughs> as she's wiping them away. <laughs> and that's how she's barely aged since, like, the 1940s. 
<laughs> Other people's <laughs> sorrow makes Mary stay young. <laughs> <laughs> She she oh, she pulls on one of the many 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 books on her bookshelves, and then a secret room opens up, and there are just walls <laughs> lined with these little glasses. Each one has a name and a date on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> She's got it hidden away like fucking Dexter's thing of blood slides. So. Um, Sunday? S Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! There's no narration panel again this week, so it's just an orange building with the words Mary Worth and big red letters. Oh. Okay, so, uh, since we don't know who's saying this, um, why don't we just do it in unison, since that seems to be what they were leading up to anyway? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. We, sur we survived, thanks, thanks to the help and support of us. others. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is the best line. My belief in humanity returns! <laughs> and then she just put the first surface into the air and there's like a, a lightning bolt that hits her. <laughs> <laughs> And her eyes just glow gold. <laughs> as she says it, there's an echo, and then the background drops out, and she's against a star field as a bunch of meteors fly <laughs> past. <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. As Wilbur and Dawn process their ordeal on the ill-fated cruise ship, What I thought was important... Now, in perspective, was not. Don't be too hard on yourself, Don. You were in love with Dave. Let me just rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing compared to almost losing you, Dad. And then she goes <laughs> on her cheek. What? Look, freak. No, oh. you, you think, you think, Don, you think breaking up with some asshole is, is nothing compared to almost dying in your dad die? <laughs> oh. And now Dawn starts picking up on her dad's bad habits. Yes. Back <laughs> off! <laughs> and almost losing my own life! And she lunges towards Mary. <laughs> 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 her face is right up against hers. And then she uh, she beeps Mary's nose. Meep, meep. Meep. Also, Don's face got very round in that <laughs> panel there. <laughs> like I said, she's taking after her dad now. <laughs> Just a big meaty face right up in the camera. <laughs> she's got that... Uh, uh, oh, what's that guy with the, the magnet and the, and the powder that you can... Make it to the faces and stuff. Oh, Wally Willy. Or Wooly yeah, Willy. Wooly Willy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> She's about as round as he is. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, Wilbur's editor watches the news of the cruise ship disaster aftermath. The paper will strike gold with an eyewitness account from its very own. I have an assignment for Weston. <laughs> Miss Brent, get Peter Parker in here. Have him find Wilbur Weston and get him in my office ASAP. <laughs> oh, JJ, always trying to trying to make a story cover story. He does not care that Wilbur almost died. It's time for that lazy sack of crap to get back to work. I like that he, he could be practically steepling his fingers in that panel. He's very like <laughs> Mr. Burns right there, yeah. He's got the big, big chair. He's just kind of relaxed watching TV. <laughs> but yes, yes, this horrible, horrible disaster is just what our paper needed. This will get, this will get the sales at the newsstands doubled by the end of the week. He's. Can you imagine? Oh, I really hope they follow through with this. Oh boy! Also, I think I think in reverse fashion from last week, he's use using his cell phone to, <laughs> to change, change the channels. He's got one of those fancy Google TVs. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like an old, like, 90s cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing Snake while he's watching that. <laughs> oh, um, whenever they show somebody watching television on Mary Worth, yep, it seems like they always have them with the remote in their hand. Yes, <laughs> that's how everyone watches TV. You don't have to have it in your hand to watch it. I usually get it to the channel I want and then set it down. <laughs> They think that if you put the remote down, the TV turns off. <laughs> it's got to be able to feel your heartbeat in the palm of your hand, or the TV shuts off. It's a power-saving measure. <laughs> or, or, like, you won't be able to see it. Like, the remote is a, a conduit to, between you and the television. <laughs> <laughs> between us and the television realm. <laughs> yes. Pull back the veil between dimensions and watch two and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't show is he has like a, a big, like, precious uh, jewel in his left hand. <laughs> ah, I summon the power to watch Guy Fieri's Big Bite. <laughs> uh, so, so that's the week. Yep, that's it. We're so, done. We have another segment on the show other than just reading the damn thing, don't we? Yeah, I believe we have. A thing called it's uh, the worthy moment of the the week. Worthy, worthy moment of the week. The Bob, by George. Say that you, louder. But worthy moment of the week. Worthy of the week. So, um, uh, I think you. Wait, did I go first last week, or did you go first? Does it matter? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. My worthy moment of the week is in Tuesday's strip. Yeah? With that weird kind of fish face Mary's making. <laughs> she looks what? like all skinny and worn down. <laughs> she looks like she put like a half of a lemon in her mouth. Like, <laughs> but like, look at her skinny arms and her skinny yeah. neck. She looks like like she's got AIDS or something. <laughs> Just looks haggard. Like <laughs> She's wasting away. <laughs> That's why... She hasn't he heard enough of the horrors of the uh, trip yet. That's what <laughs> that's what uh, uh, feeds her. <laughs> she just goes back to her original size as she hears of the <laughs> the terror and the suffering. <laughs> oh boy, my worthy moment of the week. Uh, oh dear, hold on, I'm looking. Ah, uh, uh, is <laughs> Mary's just face on uh Saturday. <laughs> on, Saturday? on the right panel. Oh god. <laughs> She's just completely in shadow. It re it reminds me of like some like drama show on T V where they have like, really dramatic like colored lighting on like, one side and the rest of the characters' face is just dark. <laughs> like if she were to lean back, you'd only be able to see like you wouldn't be able to see her face. She would just be obscured in shadow <laughs> completely. And then she leans forward and she goes, Tell me more. <laughs> Mary. Mary, what you do? Put that box cutter. Put that down. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and she's putting on an orange rubber suit. Yes. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Predictions. predictions. Let's do that. Let's do that part of the show. We don't have a sound for that one. Wow. Should probably make one. Ba da pa ba pa. Predictions. Ba da pa ba. Predictions. Okay. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I got out my. I'm classically trained opera singer. If you didn't know that. Okay. Egg. I think Wilbur is going to be at a crossroads. He's either make his career skyrocket by being a uh, you know, survive, survivor on this trip. Write about that in the paper, or he's gonna, like, oh, I don't know. Is this, is this really ethical? I would say that if there was actually any characterization in Mary Worth. Yes. <laughs> because we all know this is, this whole thing has not been very ethical at all. <laughs> we'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll write that. Why not? <laughs> I've already got six pages written up. <laughs> My daughter and I came up with a couple of really uh, funny jokes on the 
on the way home. So I, I can put those in there. <laughs> well, we were waiting for somebody to come take us to a hotel. I got my cell phone out and got some pictures of bloated bodies being dashed against the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> These newspapers will go off the stands like hotcakes. Yay. And Wilbur saved the day. Again. <laughs> Again. Kind of. Sort of. Oh. <laughs> uh, wanna... Let's, let's do some thank yous. I'd like to thank the Aquabats for writing a song called Sequence Erase, which we use at the beginning of the show as our theme song. We didn't ask permission. We They don't even know we're doing it. But they don't care. They don't you, care. You're in their fan club for crying out loud. I have been a card-carrying member of the cadet faction for uh, nearly seven years. So there's so, not a... Uh, I mean, I'm sure I've got the inside scoop. You're practically family at this point. I'm practically in the band. I'm the member of the band who does little to nothing other than <laughs> listen to the music. You're the one in the back that nobody ever notices. <laughs> I am not even a person in the crowd, because I've never been to one of their shows, but I like them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my association with the Aquabats. I'd also like to thank the Robot Beach Boys for being cobbled together in a mad scientist's basement out of uh, broken Casio keyboards and yep. um, old Casio uh, pocket calculators. Player bass players. And... And one of those things that was an exercise machine in the 50s, and you got in it, and there was a belt on it, and it jiggled you around. Wobbled well, your belly? Yeah, okay. One of those All things. Of those. That's how you build a robot beach boy, God damn it! At least that's what I've been told. Anyway, they made a song called California Girls, and there was a shitty midi of it, so we put that at the end of the show. And it's awesome. We yeah, you'll, it. you'll hear it in a little bit. It's, it's a real gasser. Ha! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um... We we've started uh we've decided to start thanking people by name. Uh on yes. Facebook, uh we got likes from B Br- B Bira and Jana. I mean Bria and Jana. <laughs> sorry sorry about that. No, I'm not sorry. Well I'm sorry. So <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have to just take my my apologies then. <laughs> um what do you got there, buddy? Uh on on YouTube we got a uh a comment, and also a, a kiss. Oh, Whoa. oh boy! Help, By get... stuff, stuff and fification. Stuff and fification. We think... can't say your username. <laughs> I think that's a word, but uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh... I googled it, and it didn't come up with any results for me. So whatever. Must be some kind of some kind of science. I don't know. And uh, also by our old friend, uh, Shini Ryuk. Shini Ryuk, how you uh, doing? Follower from very, very early on. One of our first commented on all the episodes. Back to commenting. We're glad to see you. And thank um, you. Thank you very much. We also got some uh, some rebloggios and some comments on Twitter. Uh, we got Chris. He's at E-Rick Chris. E-Rick Chris. Cool. Uh, he writes books, so maybe you could go find him on Twitter and buy a book. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we want fifty dollars for that, Chris. Uh, we also no, we got are. a. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> lying. I want fifty. I'll I'll take twenty five of them. Uh, we also got a, a reblog from or a re a retweet a retweeter. We're not on from on blogger. What are you, no. an idiot? We're not on blogger. We're on Tumblr, but nobody gives a shit about us on there. Uh, <laughs> we've got a uh, we got Craig at Darth underscore Serac. Uh I play D and D with him sometimes. He's a cool guy. <laughs> why, uh-huh. don't, why don't you go follow him on the Twitter, huh? <laughs> and uh, we also got a. Uh, why don't you go follow him on Twitter, you fucking fanook? Uh, <laughs> we also got a, a, a retweet by Bartek at Because Human. Uh, oh. Bartek does a does a web comic. It's pretty funny. I read it a couple times, I guess. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna give you guys all big kisses. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Really kiss you so hard that you're probably gonna die. I'm gonna give Sorry. each and every one of you a great big old hickey. <laughs> and then you'll have, have to make up excuses for your parents, 
or a significant other, and it'll be really awkward. And here's the thing, I'm you. single, so I don't give a shit. I keep slipping into that New Jersey accent, I don't mean to. <laughs> well, let's just stop the, stop the show before it ha- happens again. <laughs> let's just stop the show before I keep no. doing this the whole fucking time. Oh god, please, just... <laughs> What's your name? My name's... <laughs> my name's Sam. <laughs> and I'm Eric. And remember, everyone, the problem with Survivor was that you ended up with the ghosts of everyone you'd ever left behind riding on your shoulders. That's pretty spooky. Uh, and that was your week in Merry Worth for what it's worth! Goodbye. California girls! Go, go girls, California! Eric, Eric, this is the part where you put in the California girl song. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Here it goes! <laughs> <laughs>